What's up everyone, patch notes today, and I wanted to have a quick chat about how things shook out for Explosive Trap and Shrapnel. There were some small buffs and some nerfs, so let's take a quick look. I did some quick math and dropped that in the last video in a pinned comment and on Reddit, and I've spent some time tinkering the last couple hours in POB and testing, and uh, I wanted to give you some context. First, let's look at the change. We gained another 20% effectiveness of added damage. We gained 11.7% base fizz damage, which is nice. We lost 0.6 meters of our secondary radius, and we lost 0.6 meters of our secondary explosion radius. Now, these values, 3 and 1.3, are actually what Explosive Trap of Shrapnel is at level 1, which means we can test and see what this AoE will feel like. Okay, so what does that mean? Let's start with the nerfs. First, some clear was lost. Instead of about a 9 meter spread, it's now a 7.4 meter spread. Now, this is still 50% or so more than the normal Explosive Trap gem. So the mapping experience is considerably better, but it's not as good as it was. For most mapping situations, this ends up being about 11% DPS loss because of the reduction in overlaps counterbalanced by the increase in base fizz. And that leads me to number two in the nerf slip, which is an approximate 11% DPS loss for worst case type scenarios. So anywhere you're in an open area, like you're preloading on Uber Shaper or Cirrus or something like that, it's going to be about an 11% DPS loss because you've lost around 23% of the overlaps and that is slightly offset by the 12% buff in flat damage. Okay, now on to the buffs. First off, we got a 12% more ailment effect buff because ailments scale off the size of the fizz hit and we get another 12% on top of the 30% higher than the normal explosive trap gem. Second, there was a buff to damaging larger hitbox enemies. Though these cases aren't super common, you will get a little bit more damage. All in all, it should still be an improvement in mapping over the normal gem by quite a bit and a modest loss in boss damage, though probably not enough to make me want a gem swap because I absolutely hate gem swapping. Now there are a couple other changes I want to talk about really quickly, but before we leave Shrapnel, let me demo for you what the new AoE looks like. At gem level one, Shrapnel has the new secondary values. The primary explosion is considerably smaller, so it won't look quite right, but just imagine one larger blast in the center of all these traps as they go off. This is with the sun blast on and almost no additional AoE at level 20. And also keep in mind that explosive trap gains AoE with levels up to about 20% more at the high end. But I wanted to give you a baseline of what a level 20 gem actually looks like with nine explosions, so this would be 20% quality and nothing else. Okay, now again, with the old shrapnel trap, also level 20 and with nine explosions. Now, this isn't a perfect comparison because the level one gem has a much smaller primary hit, but it should give you kind of a rough idea of what the differences are. Next, I wanna point out a buff that I think might be pretty sweet. I did a build a few leagues ago that was a chaos hit based uh, explosive trap build and it needed to find conversion and I got that off the tree. And I also had a bit of a struggle keeping wither stacks applied. So Unholy Mike sort of solves that problem. Now this was a two div budget, something like 45 million deep pinnacle DPS. Um, I might go back and eyeball that some now that this has changed. Now for the nerf I am most unhappy with, and that is related to mana. Now I play this as a trickster for a combination of ESS defense and much higher damage ceiling than most ascendancies, but in order to do that, I actually spend mana. We lost perfect crime when they brick saboteur for traps a few leagues ago. We lost alternate quality trap and mine damage, divergent inspiration. We lost the boot enchant, and now we've lost our ability to roll mana reduction on gems and the Canarita mod on Flas. Now, this isn't a deal breaker per se, it'd still be a fine league starter, but I play this build specifically to speed farm bosses. And I want to play a build that absolutely crushes bossing content faster than any other build to efficiently farm currency. So to do that, I play an endgame self-chill lightning warp configuration. The mana flask craft being lost means high investment self-chill really isn't possible because you still need your ring slots to manage mana cost. Now I've spent most of this afternoon pondering ways to deal with this, but I need to do some more testing and spend some more time in POB. Saboteur could work because we get a lot of flat life regen to maybe make EB work and the increased AOE will make clear feel better. Or I could go EB mom inquisitor, but it's kind of an unfortunate place on the tree and it'll cap my top end damage. 
or I could try to make Trickster work and it would probably be fine all the way up to everything before high investment self chill, but I'd have to stop there, which I don't think I'd be happy with. So I guess all that to say, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but I'll let you know as soon as I figure it out. I guess the good news is that Explosive Trap of Shrapnel, I think is still gonna be an exceptional bosser this league, and it's still gonna be a very good mapper, certainly better than the normal Explosive Trap gem. I'm just not exactly sure how I'm gonna play it yet. I know some people asked about the math for how to actually calculate the overlap chance. I'll put that in the description of the video. But other than that, I don't have anything else for you now. I'll talk to you guys later.